he gone? Over there. Well, get him back. He's in a cab. Peter, you've lost the news! Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're going to be counting down our picks for the top 10 British TV moments you can watch a million times. Right, I'll tell you an anecdote. I love you, kitchen gun! All right, Grandad, we're ready. You can start undoing it now. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're going to be looking at the moments across British TV that are so hilarious that they demand repeated viewings. Do these never fail to brighten your day, or do you just have no sense of humour? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Sanch vs The Objects Garth Marenghi's Dark Place You again, you bastard. There's just too much to love about this scene. You've got Dr. Sanchez taking on possessed objects with the acting skill, ADR, and technical effects of a student film, shooting down levitating irons before his own gun tries to turn on him. The obvious solution? Pull out another gun and just keep blasting. Damn, things come alive in my head! <laughs> Suck on that. There's so much silliness in such a short amount of time that the whole thing transcends into this genius piece of comedy. Yes, that includes him rolling around with the dustbin. Number 9. The Book Critic. I'm Alan Partridge. Well, to be honest, I don't think anecdotes are your forte. Yeah, that's fair enough. It's fair to say that most of the time, this radio star is more often than not the butt of the joke. Right, I'll tell you an anecdote. Often paving the way for his own humiliation, much to our delight. Though here, we can't help but root for him, as he has an explosive episode against a book critic who absolutely slated his latest literary endeavour. He said, you jammy bastard, and quick as a flash, I replied, don't be blue, Peter! Fueled by righteous Norwich rage and some flashbacks about a chocolate addiction, Alan lays a verbal partridge pounding on the man via one hell of an anecdote. Needless to say, I had the last laugh. Now f off. Number 8. Ace Rimmer, Red Dwarf Arnold Rimmer, absent of a personality and is about as interesting as beige wallpaper. Ace Rimmer, the greatest example of a man the multiverse has ever seen. Do me a favor, will you? And please snap me. <laughs> it's such a departure and a hilarious homage to famous swashbucklers that this should be jarring given all we know about the man with the perpetual H on his forehead. Goodbye. <laughs> and yet, after seeing him leap out of an exploding plane, surf on an alligator, and take down a Nazi mid-fight, there's no way you can't admire the absurdity of it all. See you later, alligator! <laughs> Number 7. Goth Detectives the big fat quiz of the year. We're going back under here till peace comes. <laughs> Long before Russell Brand had found spiritualism and Noel Fielding was a presenter on Bake Off, they were causing chaos on game shows. We're not sure if they happened to snort some raven ashes before going on, or they just felt like unleashing pandemonium because every second these two wrecked the show's format. I'm not just being mean for no reason. David is not a mean-spirited man. No, I think all not. of us remember that time when he'd done some swimming. What he scarcely <laughs> mentions every <laughs> five minutes. And it never stops being funny. None of their answers are serious, and by the time they get to pitching their goth detective TV pilots, there was no going back. Listen, you just give us 48 hours and we'll get the job done if we weren't so bloody miserable. Number 6. Peter O'Hanra Hanrahan. The Day Today. You spoke to him about the technicalities of the deal in German. Yes. So what's the German for 30%? 30 percent? 30 percent. 30 percent. Yes. He's the worst journalist out there, and yet still somehow comes across more authentic than certain news organizations over the pond. You can point to any part of Peter's extensive canon of flubs, and each will make you want to laugh your head off while tearing up your media degree. You've let him get away again! Where's he gone? Over there. Well, get him back! He's in a cab. Peter, you've lost the news! To be fair to Peter, it's not all his fault. Must be hard trying to get coverage when your boss is as much of a jerk as Chris. 
That being said, you can't really consider yourself as the pinnacle of journalistic integrity when you keep getting every fact wrong. Peter, what's that? I don't have a monitor, Chris. I can't see what you you're doing. You know what I'm talking about. It's just above your right eye. Yes. A cobweb. Number five, The Puddle, The Vicar of Dibley. I think he'll make you very happy. Thank you. And if he doesn't, I'll have a go. Isn't it wonderful to be in love? Well, if you're Geraldine, then it's the equivalent to finding yourself lodged in a massive pool of dirty water. Two times across her holy career has Dibley's resident vicar found herself up to her collar, all thanks to falling into the deepest puddle on the planet. The first is a harmless accident while frolicking with her new love interest. <laughs> The other, while trying to spy on the man who she'd eventually marry, is an act of sacrifice as she hides herself before he spots her. <laughs> her clothes may be ruined, but this moment never gets old. Number 4. The Chandelier Only Fools and Horses See, asking a trotter if he knows anything about chandeliers is like asking Mr Kipling if he knows anything about cakes. With so many iconic moments to their name, choosing just one of Dell and Rodney's exploits seems arbitrary. And to that we say, you need to go watch them fail to catch the chandelier again. Alright, Grandad, we're ready! You can start undoing it now! As expected, their efforts to get into the chandelier cleaning business go horribly awry. You'd think having Grandad in charge of untying the damn thing would be the cause for concern. Or maybe the hapless duo would just drop it. The result turns out to be so unexpected, it makes the payoff all the richer. More so than Delboy will ever be anyway. Number 3. Llanfire Put Gwelyn. Okay, however else you say that. Channel 4 News. To some, it's an incomprehensible word and a relic of a bygone language. To others, it's a rite of passage that solidifies your status as a true Welshman. More of one than me, at least. And to Liam Dutton, it was a challenge that would earn him internet fame the world over. Just up the road from Llan Byr Pwll Gwyn, go get a quindrobl, Llan to Silio go go go. The fact this weatherman doesn't even stutter when pronouncing this town in Wales in such a professional manner just adds to the swag of it all. Though, you know inside, he was doing backflips in celebration. Hope the anchors bought him a pint for that. Just up the road from Llan Byr Pwll Gwyn, go get a quindrobl, Llan to Silio go go go. Number 2, Baldrick's Poetry, Blackadder Goes Forth. Shall I do my war poem? How hurt would you be if I gave the honest answer, which is, no, I'd rather French kiss a skunk. The poetry of the First World War gives us a deep insight into the mindsets and woes of the soldiers on the front lines, an irreplaceable piece of history and literature. And then there's Baldrick. As they wait before the inevitable call to go over the top, Baldrick decides to entertain his comrades. War's a horrid thing. So I sing, 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 <laughs> ding-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling. Who, with his aptly titled German Guns, unleashes a poem of such ferocity and precision that it drives Blackadder to near insanity. Even if it just consists of one word over and over again, hey, at least it's easy to remember. Boom, boom. Number 1. Kitchen Gun – The Peter Serafinowicz Show Say goodbye to daily stains and dirty surfaces with new Kitchen Gun! The fact this show was cancelled was a crime. With his wacky skits and spot-on impressions, Sean's former flatmate captivated audiences while also tearing into every facet of celebrity culture. Look how it cleans this greasy hob! <laughs> Goodbye, Dad! While his Darth Vader routine was brilliant, we have to give our pick of the litter to this parody, where he made a mockery of every cleaning product advert ever made. I love you, kitchen gun! Taking the bang out of Silit Bang and swapping in firearms, the enthusiasm Serafinowicz puts into his caricature while also shooting up the kitchen never fails to earn a laugh. You can even use it on the washing up! Bang, bang, bang! 
There, all clean again. New kitchen gun, now with laser sight and night vision for after dark cleaning. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.